Um... Iteron Skagal, I didn't expect to do another speculation <laughs> video already. Like, I had some ideas germinating, but I thought I'd just kind of let them go, maybe go through them through the video. But no! No, I think there's enough meat that I need to spend some time and just kind of speak over a completely static screen again. I don't know why this keeps happening. Like, so, like, I'm just putting that out there. Like, I am not guaranteeing a speculation video between every video. From going forward like this is not the case at all I feel like it just so happens that we are in an especially kind of dense part of the game uh, but you know like this is not something that you know that, that that are always gonna happen going forward it is not the case this is just so happens to be something something video game I don't know okay so okay so uh, I have had some ideas brewing that partially contradict what I was thinking about yesterday but not entirely but let's just let's just go through through what's going on in my head what if so what if the the meteorite imbues some form of immortality but it's an imperfect one like what if when the real Cecil got quote-unquote shot by the meteorite piece, like when it was pierced and embedded in his body, what if it killed him, but it gave his body a form of immortality? Like, it will heal up, it will always be good. Like, it will always be working. The, the ghost, what I think, what's something I think might have happened is what happened. He died and his soul was set free. But because his body is still alive, his soul, his ghost is kind of like you, what normally happens to ghosts doesn't happen. So it's just kind of hanging out there. And so you got the body essentially kind of like operating on its own. And so real Cecil as we know him is more or less like a soulless automaton. That's basically only operating on the id level, which is why it's so hell-bent on revenge, you know, and is like a pretty nasty piece of character. My theory is that Ray is Cecil's original ghost. He has a lot more stability than what we expect from the rules given. And he's just, he's there, he's an actual ghost. He has like the full range of powers if he wants to use them, but for whatever reason he's constrained from acting or he can't or whatever. Like, whatever. But I would sincerely believe that that is what Ray is. That's why he lived multiple like times. So what is our Cecil? I think what happens is that whenever that the body of Cecil dies, there's a, a process, right, where when you die it releases a ghost of some kind. But because it doesn't have a ghost, it still has to release something. And that something is this sort of like kind of have consciousness, like incomplete being. Which is our ghost, which is which is our friendly Cecil, which is why he's kind of dim. Which is why he doesn't remember so many things. Which is why, you know, like, he has a personality, he can make decisions, but what he knows is extremely limited. Because the theory about, like, the real Cecil being the cat, I still believe that might be a possibility. But, so, like, that would explain why he would not be able to read. But that doesn't explain why he would have a concept of reading, if that makes sense. Like, Missile, he's a, he's, he's a good boy. He's a nice little dude. But, like, he thinks on dog terms, not on human terms. So, I don't know. Um, and speaking of which, like, like, you know, like, like, it still doesn't... Body Cecil might still be a puppet. Like, we got in the scene where he held his fist on the stove and he was cooking his arm, basically, and didn't react. But that just also could be because it's emblematic of the fact that he does not feel anything. All he feels is pure rage and revenge that is what hell that's like the last memory of his body that's what has imprinted on his brain and so his brain regenerated with only thinking of revenge and i think that might be plausible then you got ray on the side he's like okay 
here's a phantom of me, an incomplete phantom. Yeah, it will deteriorate. But, like, it doesn't have a reason to go into all, like, the infinite, minute details like that. He knows himself enough to just go to the core of the issue. Just, like, simplify everything. Don't worry about it. That's what I'm... Th also, you know, him not saying a lot of crucial information at a rate that makes sense is just in character for, like, everyone in this game. I just think that makes a little bit of sense. At the same time, I feel like... Oh, I just thought of something. Okay, well... Okay, I'm gonna go back to something. Missile. Um... On the theory that the meteorite is supposed to grant immortality, although we explicitly cannot interact with organic things, I will remind everyone that Missile has possessed and swapped a leaf, an extremely organic object out there in nature. It is the lungs of a living being. Sure, it might be dead, at that point, once it's separated, but it is still organic in nature. And Missile was able to go in it no problem. I wonder if Missile would be able to just swap right back into his doggy body and essentially assume immortality that way. In which case, that would add credence to the fact that it's just a weird form of, like, bad immortality. Another sub... Um, explanation that I thought about, sort of like a sub, like, like version 2B, if you will. When the meteorite shard smashed into Cecil's body, the meteorite shard had a personality, an incomplete one, because it's a shard, it's not a rock, but it bullied his ghost out, so his ghost was pushed out, meteorite's thoughts, more or less, taking its place, and because it's incomplete, because it's just a rock, maybe it's really dumb. It just kind of, again, imprinted on the latest thoughts of Body Cecil and kind of took over. Ray, at this point, like, you know, he's really, he, he's willing to change things around to make things better because he's had 10 years to think on this and maybe he just wants to move on, but he can't as long as all this is happening. Like, this is extremely possible, right? I... These are the thoughts that I have at this point. Once again, like, the, there's some conflict with my past thoughts, but that's fine, I think. Like, it's clear that by design, I have an, still an incomplete picture of what's going on. But this is where my headspace is resting at right now. I'm probably wrong on a lot. I don't know. This is pure speculation. I'm not saying there's going to be one of these every time, once again, but... If I ever have enough meat to chew around loudly, right on a microphone, I, I, I might as well.